एक्सलेंसीज लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन नमस्कार आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू गांधीनगर द सिटी नेम आफ्टर महात्मा गांधी ऑन इट्स डे ऑफ फॉर्मेशन आई एम डिलाइटेड दैट यू हैव द ऑपरचुनिटी to visit gandhi ashram in amdavad today the whole world is talking about climate change global warming and urgency to find sustainable solutions at gandhi ashram you will witness first hand the simplicity of gandhi ji's lifestyle and his visionary ideas of sustainability self reliance and equality i am sure you will find it inspirational you will also get to experience it at the dandi kuti museum an opportunity you should not miss it will not be out of place for me to mention here that gandhi ji's famous charkha the spinning wheel was found by a woman named ganga ban at a village nearby as you know from then onwards gandhi ji always wore khadi which became a symbol of self reliance and sustainability friends when women prosper the world prospers their economic empowerment fuels growth that access to education drives global progress that leadership fosters inclusivity and their voices inspire positive change the most effective way to empower women is through a women led development approach india is making strides in this direction friends india's president shrimati draupadi murmu sets an inspiring example herself she comes from a humble tribal background but now leads the world's largest democracy and serves at the commander in chief of the world's second largest defense force in this mother of democracy the right to vote was granted equally to all citizens including women by the indian constitution right from the beginning the right to contest election was also granted on an equal basis elected women representatives have been key agents of economic environmental and social change at 1.4 million 46% of elected representatives in rural local bodies in india are women the mobilization of women into self help groups has also been a powerful force for change during the pandemic these self help groups and elected women representatives emerged as pillars of support for our communities they manufactured masks 
and sanitizers as well as created awareness about infection prevention. More than 80% of nurses and midwives in India are women. They were our first line of defense during the pandemic. And we are proud of their achievements. Friends, women-led development has been a key priority for us in India. Around 70% of the loans under the Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana have been sanctioned to women. These are loans up to 1 million rupees to support micro-level units. Similarly, 80% of beneficiaries under Stand Up India are women availing bank loans for greenfield projects. Under the Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana, nearly 100 million cooking gas connections have been provided to rural women. Provision of clean cooking fuel directly impacts the environment and improves women's health. The number of women in technical education in the industrial training institutes had doubled since 2014 and nearly 43% of STEM graduates in India, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are women. About one-fourth of space scientists in India are women. Behind the success of our flagship programs like Chandrayaan, Gaganyaan, and Mission Mars lies the talent and hard work of women scientists. Today, more women are enrolling in higher education than men in India. We also have one of the highest percentage of female pilots in civil aviation. And female pilots in the Indian Air Force are now flying fighter aircrafts. Women officers are being deployed in operational roles and fighting platforms in all our armed forces. Friend, in India and in the global south, women play pivotal roles at the backbone of rural agriculture families and at small traders and shopkeepers. Given their close association with nature, women hold the key to innovative solution to climate change. I recall how women led the first prominent climate action in India in the 18th century. The Bishnoi community of Rajasthan, led by Pujya Amrita Devi, started the Chipko movement. It was a movement to hug trees to prevent unregulated logging. Along with several other villagers, she laid down her life for the cause of nature. Women in India have also been brand ambassadors for mission life, lifestyle for environment. They reduce, reuse, recycle, and repurpose based on traditional wisdom. Under various initiatives, women are actively getting trained 
in making solar panels and lights. The solar mamas have been successful collaborators with our partners countries in the global south. Friends, women entrepreneurs are significant contributor to the global economy. The role of women entrepreneurs in India is not new. Decades ago, in 1959, few Gujarati women in Mumbai came together to create a historic cooperative movement, Sri Mahila Grih Udyog. Since then, it has transformed the lives of millions of women and their families. Their most famous product, Lijjat Papad, will probably be on your menus in Gujarat. Another success story of our cooperative movement in the dairy sector. This is also powered by women. In the state of Gujarat alone, there are 3.6 million women involved in the dairy sector. And there are many, many more such inspiring stories all over India. In India, about 15% of unicorn startups have at least one woman founder. The combined value of this women-led unicorn is over $40 billion. However, our goal should be to create a level platform where women achievers became the norm. We must work to remove the barriers that restrict their access to markets, global value chains, and affordable finance. At the same time, we need to ensure that the burden of care and domestic work is appropriately addressed. Excellencies, your focus on women entrepreneurship, leadership, and education is commendable. I'm also glad that you are launching the tech equity platform to enhance digital and financial literacy for women. And I'm delighted that under the Indian presidency, it has been decided to establish a new working group on women empowerment. Your untiring efforts in Gandhinagar will give immense hope and confidence to women around the world. I wish you all the best for a productive and successful meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much.